Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial and I'm going to be showing you the look that was featured in my MAC attack video. I got a ton of comments asking how I did my hair. It was sort of a wavy curly look and so um, I wanted to fulfill your request and show you guys really quick the tool that I use and how I go about doing it. So this is just going to be a tutorial for really great summer beachy waves. And the beauty tool that I use to get this effect is the Bedhead Dual Waver by TG. And this is what it looks like. It is on right now, so you can see it's all lit up green like a spaceship. Let me turn the lights off because this thing looks really cool. So look at it. It just totally lights up like a spaceship. It's like a UFO. <laughs> it's really, really cool. So anyways, it's hot pink. The lights are green. And basically, as you can see, it is a waver. And if you've never seen a waver before, basically it's going to have a wave pattern um, plate here on the top and then it's going to have your two wands right here and then this one is really cool because it has this wand and this wand right here the one with the pink thing on top is actually adjustable so you can actually turn this pink rod right here either twist it up to get um, more compact waves or you can twist it down to get more of a full body wave like a real um, bend in your hair which is what I'm going to be doing today so I have it down on the bottom function and then right here it has this little thing where you can lock the barrel and this is to lock this so that it's not moving around while you're trying to do your hair then of course it has an on off switch right here go figure and then the really neat thing about this as well is that it has a temperature control so you can have it on 175 which is the lowest setting and as you can see the color changes or you can turn it up to 400 which is the hottest setting and as you can see the lights have now turned green so I do do my hair at 400 just because I find that this gives my really super straight poker hair um, the best wave that's just the um, setting that I need. Another really cool thing about this uh, bed head waver is that right here on the bottom it has this little lock. So when you close it like this, you can lock it so that it can store more easily. So as you can see, it is completely locked. So definitely don't, <laughs> don't put this you know, on your hair and then lock it down here because it will get stuck and you will fry your hair off. So this is basically just a storage function right here on the bottom and it's really easy to lock and unlock. So basically those are all the little gadgets, all the little features on this bedhead dual waver. And I did get my waver from beautychoice.com so I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below if you guys are interested in getting your own. And I've definitely been using this quite a bit over the last few months um, just so I could be able to give you guys a more thorough review. And I'm really looking forward to using this a lot more in the spring and summer because I just love that beachy wavy look. And this little tool right here gives me really, really neat waves. Basically, I'm just going to show you guys really quick how I achieved that hair look. I have already clipped my hair half up, so just the top half of my hair, I've just sort of piled it on my head and clipped it, because I just want to do the bottom layer of hair first, because the bottom layer is sort of what I care about the least. You're not going to be able to see this as well, so I'm not as worried about this being waved perfectly. Start is we're just going to take one of these little bottom sections. It doesn't really matter um, how big or how small it is, it just depends on... Um, what you want it to look like really and I just like to take larger sections of hair particularly on the bottom because like I said I don't really care what the bottom looks like as much so I just want to get it done as quickly as possible because this can get tiring on your hand holding this clamp shut and going down so I just take big chunks of hair at the bottom just so I can get through it so I'm just gonna take my hair like this and I'm just gonna slide it push the crimper all the way up to your roots as far as you can go without burning yourself and then clamp it shut now I've had my waver heating up for about a half an hour now, so I probably won't have to hold it on my hair as long. But if you just have yours heating for like 10 or 15 minutes before you start, you might have to hold it for a few more seconds. So basically I'm just working my way down my hair. And you have a wave. So I'm going to take another chunk. Put it in. Run it all the way up and clamp it shut. And basically I'm just going to repeat this process all the way around my head. It's pretty straightforward. It's a very easy tool to use. So hold it and because this is a thicker strand I'm going to hold it a little bit longer just so that I can make sure that this hair at the base of my root is crimped. Then I'm going to move it down to like that last little notch right there. So don't re-crimp the same piece, just move completely down from the already crimped piece and get that fresh hair right below it. So you're just moving down. See, I still have all this hair. My hair is getting pretty long. And move down to that hair. And wait. And 
I typically like to make sure when I get at the end that I just have this little tiny bit sticking out right here just so that it will just go under as you can see right there. It won't be like flipping out or looking crazy. So basically I'm just going to go all around the base of my head doing the same thing and I'm just going to get nice little crimpy waves. So let me just show you guys again on this front piece on this side. So you have the two wands on the bottom and then you have the top wand and the waver on the top. And then crimp it. You can see what happens to your hair. It's just sort of going through and that's what's going to give it that wave shape. I love this waver. It's so cute. Just make sure that you don't burn your head or burn your ears because 400 degrees is really hot. So definitely be careful. And sometimes I will go through and I will just do this little end piece again, just making sure that the very end of it is coming out right like this, just so that it looks more uniform because sometimes the ends of it can end up looking like weird and kind of scraggly just because they get caught up and then they don't get crimped like the upper part of your hair and then they're like flipping all over the place. So I just make sure that I've got that part crimped. And as you can see, it sort of gives you like a little curl effect at the bottom. It is written. bottom section of my hair as you can see it is all waved and so now I'm going to go ahead and let the top half of my hair down so that I can wave this part of my hair and this is the part I'm more concerned about because obviously these are the waves that you're really going to be able to see um, so I'm a little more careful with these and I tend to do smaller pieces on the top and especially towards the front because then you can get that cute little beachy wave that like sort of looks almost like a little baby ringlet in your face, almost like Taylor Swift, so they're little small waves. And so that's what I will typically do here towards the front. So I'm just going to take this little baby piece of hair, and this is actually one of my bangs. They've grown out so much. And sometimes I'll come back when I'm completely done and just redo the ones in the front just because I'm really kind of like OCD about them and I like for them to look perfect. So usually I will come back and I will redo these. So I'm not worried about getting it perfect the first time. And just so you guys know, I did use a shine serum on my hair. I used Chi Silk Infusion um, before doing this so that my hair would be protected from this heat and damage and also just to make it a little less frizzy because if you don't use some kind of like balm or serum or something before you use this bedhead to waver, even with fine hair like mine, it can look really, really frizzy and you can just end up looking like you stuck your finger in an electrical socket. Like it'll look really, really frizzy and it'll poof out to here. So definitely use some kind of balm or um, serum just to sort of uh, tame your flyaways and just to get your hair sort of down to like a nice glossy shine so that when you curl it's going to have that same effect. It's not going to poof out.
pretty much got all my hair waved, so you can just go ahead and turn it off. Aw, it's not all light up and cute anymore. So then I basically just go through and I just go like this, just scrunch at the bottom just so that you can really hold on to that curl because I don't like to spray my hair after I do the bedhead waver. I like to just leave it natural because first of all I just don't like hairspray and second of all I don't want it to look frizzy. I want it to look really natural, almost like I slept with like braids in or something like that. So I'm just scrunching it. I don't have any kind of scrunch spray or anything, I'm just using my hands and they actually do a decent job. If you want, you can flip your head upside down and scrunch it. But this is basically the look that I had in my Mac Tac video. It was just all wavy like this, and I got a lot of compliments and a lot of requests, so that's how you do it. Um, again, I am using the Bedhead Dual Waver by TG. Absolutely love, love, love the bedhead dual waver. As you can see, it gives you really, really nice effects. So I'm going to be using the heck out of this. So you'll probably see a lot more videos with my hair like this. Um, I'm definitely going to be taking it to Florida with me, going on vacation in May down there. So this is going to be a really cute hairstyle to have when I'm at the beach and just hanging out because it's just, you know, it's like no hassle. You just do it and then you just leave your hair like this or you can like put it half up, half down. There's so many things that you can do, so, I mean, no matter what you do, it's just really, really cute. So, I hope you guys can see all the wave. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back. It almost looks like I got, like, a, a spiral perm. It's just really, really nice. It's a tiny little tight body wave. And so, I have lots of volume from this. As you can see, it just really poofed it up. And so I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I definitely recommend checking this out. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below so that you can go check it out on my Beauty Choice landing page. Definitely recommend it, you guys. I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at it. It's all hot pink. It lights up green. I love that. It has a bunch of features. You can get two different kinds of waves, which I really, really like, depending on how I feel. You could even mix it up halfway through, get smaller waves, and then get deeper waves, you know, and then you can have some contrast in your hair. Um, I just think that the effect of it is really, really neat. Love it, especially for spring and summer, and I love that I can get some volume with it. So that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, just leave them down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Bye.